now we will discuss about the another modification of the deep fascia of the palmar aspect of the hand you have seen one modification is flexor retinaculum and the modification is palmar aponeurosis this is palmar aponeurosis and there is another modification that is fibrous flexor sheath fibrous flexor sheath this is fibrous flexor sheath it has proximal end which is open and is merged with slips of the flexor slips of the palmar aponeurosis this is palmar aponeurosis here merged with slips of the smooth slips of the palmar aponeurosis and this slip is closed if you cut a section transverse section like this you will find this is this is digit it may be this is phalanx this is suppose here this label this is middle phalanx here are two margins this is fibrous flexor sheath and here we have two tendons this tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis and this is tendon of flexor digitorum profundus and these two tendons are covered in a sheath this is synovial sheath and then there is fibrous flexor sheath so this sheath extend from here to here and it this sheath along with phalanx it forms osseo fibrous tunnel in this osseo fibrous tunnel deep structures passes tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis tendon of flexor digitorum profundus and synovial sheath which covers these tendons the arrangement of the fibers at the level of inter phalangeal joint this is inter phalangeal joint level here arrangement of this is cross like cruciate arrangement here fibers form thin layer this layer is thin this is cruciate arrangement at the level of interphalangeal joint this is cruciate arrangement and between these two cruciate arrangement and the fibers are these for the thick layer of the annular fibers so here in between the cruciate arrangement it form the thick layer of the annular fibers so this is arrangement of the fibers of the fibrous flexor sheath cruciate arrangement and annular arrangement so this is all about the
address flexor seat. Thank you.